something that it really is not going to get through this far. This is an example of how the Democrats and liberals have perverted what has turned Israel into an aggressive nation which is having consequences because England, France, Germany, and Biden are turning its back on Israel, trying to have it both ways by giving some military support to the conditions on it, calling us, saying that we're committing genocide in Gaza. Genocide is a term that was invented by the Holocaust whole because the whole people were practically wiped out. Genocide is what happened to the Yazidi uh, people with ISIS that happened in uh, Cambodia, what happened um, in Rwanda. We're not committing genocide. And yet they call us an apartheid state, occupier, settler colonialists. Yes, the, the, there are the, the, the settlements in disputed territory is a serious problem. That's a serious issue. As, as well as the Israeli transfers to deal with that. But let's face it, the number of Gazans killed in action is small. So the number of Arab Muslims who live in Israel and enjoy full rights of citizenship. Two million Arab Muslims live in Israel, and they're perfectly happy with it. As full citizens. As full citizens, and they're better off than those who live in the territories or in Gaza who still want to claim refugee status. And they vote in the elections, right? They vote in the elections. They do. Exactly. But it is a preferred Jewish state. So therefore, if I am attacked, it's, I can get full citizenship. It's like, I don't have to go to the United States. The United States is a great place for Jews to go. But we have an immigration uh, system where if you fly in, you go through the food center. But if you walk in through the border, you're treated with a free hotel rooms, right? That's our immigration system. <laughs> Republicans want to take away your right to choose an IVF. God's decision only puts the decision in the hands of the state legislature. 26 states have abortion on demand, and all 50 states, even though I heard it was only 37, have access to the abortion drug, are descending to pregnancy. Fewer than 5% of abortions in the late term. And this is one that Steve talked about. You know, dramatizing one sex is awful. I agree. And I think that you know, Trump and his cohorts, you know, held accountable for that. But the fact is that it was not an insurrection rebellion sedition of democracy after it's sorry, it was not. I mean, so this is what they did. They used this emotional part and they used the meat. So let me ask you this question. Are we living in the mentioned thirties? Well, not exactly. Jews can get very dystopic, as you can imagine, during times like this. I've talked to so many who say, we're alone. Nobody likes us. Nobody is supporting us. It's an emotional response based on the equivocation of Biden and a number of the Western nations with the Israel support. But in reality, we have many more supporters today than we did in the 30s and 40s. What is similar is this. This is a huge rally that was held by the German-American Bund in February of 1939, a sold-out rally at Madison Square Garden, where they uh, are wearing brown shirts. They're dressed like Nazis in New York, by the way. And they have a statue of George Washington surrounded by swastikas. Well, I can tell you right now, if, if Washington were alive, he'd go to her. He loved Jews. The founding fathers liked Jews. And then here below, what do we have? We have at George Washington University, they take the statue of George Washington, the school's named after the, the cafe on his head, and dress him up like a terrorist. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they're both perverting our, our, our father of our country and in an outrageous way. So they're both extreme, they're both idiots, um, and you know, that's what's similar, is that they're basically the, the far left is adopting the Nazi tactics from the 1930s and 40s, but we are not alone. Right here, look at this. This brought tears to my eyes, believe me, because in the 30s and 40s, you would never see a bunch of Republican Congress members, or even Democratic Congress members, stand up for, for Jews who were being threatened in Germany. It was just politically difficult to unpopular. But the wealthy apparently, Randy H. Roosevelt, did speak out against what the Nazis were doing in Europe. That was 1940. He did. But still, by and large, there was not really any big push to allow German refugees or other Jewish refugees. So the fact that the Republican Party is so 